దైవీచీషాగుణమయీ మమ మాయాభివత్యా దైవీచీషాగుణమయీ మమ మాయాభివత్యా మామేవ జప్రవర్తంతే మాయా మేతాం తరంతి చైతన్య మహాప్రభుషే దాట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ది కండిషన్ సఫరింగ్ కండిషన్ ఆఫ్ ది లివింగ్ ఎంటిటీ అండ్ హీ క్యాన్ బి రెస్క్యూడ్ బై ది మార్సీ ఆఫ్ సాధు సెంట్లీ పర్సన్ the scriptures and uh, and the spiritual master uh, uh, they are prepared to bestow their mercy upon everyone provided people like to take their inspection and mercy that is the condition and in the bhagavad gita the same thing is Uh, confirmed in the uh, seventh chapter, Devi-dhisha gunamai mamu maya durutaya. The influx of the disturbances created by this material nature under different forms is very stringent. So anyone who wants to be rescued from these miseries uh, Uh, he should surrender unto the Supreme Law. Māmi vaja prapadyanti māyā nītāṁ tūrāṁ. This māyā has got two kinds of influence. Prathivātmika, āvarunātmika. Āvarunātmika means we are already covered by the illusion. Uh, although we are suffering in every state, we are thinking that we are happy. Uh, just the day just the day before he started in lady he and she said that oh the temperature was so high that i could not uh, tolerate it i could not understand. the next moment she said oh i don't feel any any unhappiness this is called prakhyavatika uh, first thing is that i am so much illusion that i just like the animals that suffering so much but they have no knowledge that they are suffering uh, but human being who are above them uh, they can understand that what sort of suffering they are in uh, the animal uh, is he is being taken to the slaughter house but it does not know due to ignorance So this is called avaratmika, covering influence of the material age. And there is another influence. Suppose one is trying to come out of the kavani, prakhyavatmika, it throws. Oh, why you are trying for this? And you are been very happy. Uh, why do you think? Why you are so much pessimistic of this life? Uh, just work hard and enjoy life. That's all. So these things are going on. Actually, we are suffering and we are in dangerous position step by step. But by the influence of this material external energy, we are covered, illusion. Ah, we are thinking, yes, I am very happy. And if somebody tries to come out of it, then he is also advised by the material nature, oh, why you are doing all these nonsense? You are very happy. జావత్ జీవే సుఖం జీవే దిక్ థియోరీ దిస్ట్ నావ్ డేస్ దే ఆర్ ఎథీస్ట్ నాట్ దాట్ ది దీస్ క్లాస్ ఆఫ్ మెన్ దేర్ ఆర్ ఆల్వేస్ మే బీ నంబర్ ఆఫ్ ది ఎథీస్ట్ ఆర్ నావ్ గ్రేటర్ దెన్ బిఫోర్ అండ్ బిఫోర్ బట్ దేర్ వాజ్ గ్రేట్ ఎథీస్ట్ ఇన్ ఇండియా దేర్ ఆర్ సిక్స్ కైండ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఫిలాజఫికల్ థీసిస్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎథీజన్ ఈజ్ ఆల్సో వన్ ఆఫ్ దెన్ that atheism cha and charmak muni he was charmak muni the leader of the atheist he theory was that rinam kritya kritam pive just beg borrow or steal you must eat butter you see never mind 
करता है ऋण करते आज तक प्रभे जावत जीवे सुखम जीवे सो लॉन्ग इस यू मस्ट लिव वेरी कॉम्फर्टेबली देन वन में से दो बिग बॉरो स्टील एंड व्हील सफर द सीन इफ आई बॉरो इफ आई कैनॉट पे इफ आई कम इट सीन इफ आई कम इट बर्गलरी चाणक चार बात मनी रिप्लाय वशीभूत देह सकुत पुनरागम भवे वेल वेन योर बॉडी विल बी बर्न इन टू एसेस वी इज कमिंग हियर एंड इज गोइंग टू वेस्ट पॉट डोंट थिंक ऑफ दिस सो दिस इज एथिस्टिक थ्योरी दे डोंट बिलीव दैट देयर इज ट्रांस माइग्रेशन ऑफ दिस सोल ही हैज टू टेक अनदर बॉडी एंड ही हैज टू टेक बॉडी अकॉर्डिंग टू हिज वर्क एंड देयर आर एट मिलियन एंड फोर हंड्रेड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ बॉडीज and human body is the most man uh, manufactory they, they do not know all those things so this is called avarnatmika covering influence that is covering influence and throwing influence out of these two influences one can come out if he agrees to surrender unto the supreme law otherwise there is no other he will be all is covered or be thrown again daivi ji sa gunamai mama maya duratya mami vaja prapadante maya me tang karantite lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita anyone who surrenders unto me fully he he alone can get rid of these two kinds of influence of mana others cannot माया मुग्ध जीवे नाही कृष्ण स्थिति ज्ञान जीवे रे कृपाय कैल कृष्ण वेद पुराण दिसल्यूशन माया मुग्ध इल्यूशन लिविंग एंटिटी दे हैव फॉरगॉट दे हैव फॉरगॉट इन देयर रिलेशनशिप विद सुप्रीम लॉ मोस्टली हा वट इज गॉड समी गॉड इज दैट So these things are going on. So not now. Now the number has increased. It is all as so long the world is there, the material world is there. This sort of thing is going on. So Maya Mugdha, illusion by this external energy, uh, they have no memory of how they are connected with the supreme law. They have no memory. They are forgotten. Uh, there is something like God. Uh, the altogether they have forgot by the illusion. Yes, Mahamukta Jive na hi Krishna Satyan, and just to revive their memory, uh, Krishna uh, Jive re kripaay kaila Krishna Veda pura, Veda pura. Veda means the Vedic literatures. Veda real literal uh, meaning is Veda means knowledge. Vetti Veda Vida Gyane. Uh, there is a, a Sanskrit uh, root, Vidhatu. From that Vidhatu, Veda. Veda means knowledge, and Purana. Purana means supplementary, Vedic uh, instruction uh, described in story form. That is called Purana, uh, story. This uh, Bhagavat is also uh, one of the Mahapurana. Mahapurana means that. The science of Krishna is described in story form. Uh, this is called Purana. Uh, people better understand uh, in stories, in history. Uh, so, um, uh, Lord Caitanya says, because people in general, uh, um, by the influence of the illusory energy, they have forgotten. Their eternal relationship with the supreme Lord. Therefore, the Lord Himself, uh, as uh, Krishna Dvipayana Bhas, Krishna Dvipayana Bhas is considered to be a powerful incarnation of Krishna. Uh, unless he was a, if he was an incarnation, it is not possible. Uh, to write so many books, uh, there are eighteen Puranas. 
and four Vedas and 108 Upanishads and Vedanta, then Mahabharata, then in Srimad Bhagavatam, then each of them contains thousands and thousands and, and millions of verses. So we cannot imagine that a man can write in that way, you see. So Vedabhyas is considered to be incarnation of Krishna and he was very powerful in writing. Uh, in Mahavarata itself is so many, it's a big book. And then each Puran contains thousands and thousands of verses. So <clears throat> these these are his gifts. So Krishna means Krishna Dvipana Bhas, he he has kind because sadhu, sadhu, uh, those are saintly persons. They are always thinking of the miseries of the people in general. Uh, they are not meditating for their own purpose. Uh, they are writing books. They are thinking how to establish them in such a way so that they can properly utilize the human form of life. That is their business. Uh, sadhu, sadhu means that they are always compassionate with the sufferings of the people in general. That is sad. Because they are devotees. The Lord comes. Whenever there is, when the nature's law is so stringent that if you violate a little, then you have to suffer. There is no mercy. There is no mercy. So, as we go on violating the laws of nature, the nature law is made so made that uh, the nature is giving you a chance to be Krishna conscious. That is the whole program. Uh, uh, and as soon as you uh, deviate from that law, then you are put into trouble. So we are passing in that way. So the sadhu, uh, the pious, the devotees of the Lord, out of their uh, compassion, they write books. Uh, uh, what if they have a heart in the disciplic succession, they do not manufacture. These Vedas, the, what is written by Vyas there, you don't think that he has manufactured something. No. Formally, the Vedic knowledge was simply spoken by the spiritual master and the disciples simply heard it. Therefore, the Veda is known as Sruti. Ah. There was no need of books. They are so, I mean, they, their memory was so sad that once heard, they, can, they could remember. Ah. The life was so nice that uh, in, the, in the advancement of Holy Yuga, uh, as I have several times described, that this memory will be decreased. People will be less, uh, less memorial, the memorial. Their memory will be very certain. They'll forget. Uh, just like uh, uh, the lady was saying, at once forgets. He, he, one moment she says that, oh, it was terrible late. And next moment says, oh, I don't feel any uh, unhappiness. That, that is forget. So memory will be so short that people will forget. Just like the animals, they forget. Ah, there, there is no memory. In some of the animals, there is no mind. Ah, that is also analyzed in the Bhagavad Gita, ah, ah, Simad Bhagavatam. Ah, ah. <coughs> so uh, memory uh, uh, sorted, sorted. So just to give us uh, remembrance again, the books, uh, the bad that he wrote, those very. Uh, tradition into books. Vaisdev is the first man who uh, wrote this Vedic knowledge into writing. Before that, there was no writing. And only by hearing, by memory, the uh, students will grasp the whole thing and uh, coming down. Tradition. Tradition. Yes. Sruti. By here. So, Jivere Kripaya Kaila Krishna Vedupuram. Sadhu Guru Atma Rupe Aponare Janan Krishna Mor Prabhu Trata Jiver Hoya Ga. So, what is the utility of this Vedic knowledge? Na, by understanding, by hearing from 
uh, authorized sources or by reading from authorized sources, uh, the, the forgetful living entities will come to his senses. That is the purpose. He will come to his sense. Oh, my position is this, and I am suffering in this way. Uh, uh. So, Shastra Guru Atma Rupe Apanare Jana. So, Krishna, or the Supreme Lord, is always anxious to revive the memory of these forgotten souls, conditioned souls. Uh, then how he revives? He revives in Shastra. Shastra means scripture. Shastra Guru, spiritual master. Shastra Guru Atma Rute. And sometimes he comes himself or as Paramatma or the super soul. Uh, he is giving you instruction from within as Paramatma. He is sending you suitable spiritual master so that you can have instruction without. And the books are, the scriptures are there. So many facilities uh, the Lord has created. Uh, then therefore, uh, the human form of life is meant for utilizing all these facilities. Uh, in the animal form of life, there is no facility. Uh, they cannot read Shastra, they cannot understand. Picture, they cannot uh, uh, take the advantage of a bona fide spiritual master. They cannot consult with him, with God. They have no this capacity. Their consciousness is so undeveloped that it is not possible to have utilize all these facilities. But in the human form of life, we can utilize all these facilities. The sastras are there, the Vedas are there, the scriptures are there. And still, although it is the age of Kali, still those who are following the disciplic succession, oh, there is Panafide spiritual master also, Sastra Guru, and Atma, and over all the Paramatma, oh, the Paramatma, the super soul, Krishna, as super soul is sitting within your heart, along with you. Oh. And as soon as, by the instruction of the scripture, and direction of the spiritual master, you begin sincerely something, hey, the Paramatma from within you, he will speak. Yes, now you are right. No. He will speak to you. In the Bhagavad Gita it is clearly, Tisam satatajiftanam bhajatam pritipurvakam dadami buddhijugam tam jenam av upajanti te those, the spiritual master's duty is to lead a person, a forgotten soul, to the right way in terms of the Shastra and Scripture. And when he begins sincerely and with love and seriously, then the next stage is that God within, uh, who is sitting within you, he dictates, yes, yeah, you do like this, you do like this. So in every respect, uh, the Lord is trying to help us. Uh, but we are so much stubborn, we don't like to take advantage of this. Uh, oh, he says, oh, why shall I take all this? I am very happy. But if there is a, a story in the Bhagavad, the one, um, uh, Indra, the king of heaven, he was condemned by his spiritual master, Vidaspati, that you are so foolish, you should have become a hog. So, see, he became a hog. So, after some day, when the throne of the heaven, the kingdom was vacant, uh, Brahma went to uh, reclaim this hog, Indra, that come to your place. So, when the hog was requested that you are Indra, why you are uh, suffering now, you come, I have come. Then the hog says, oh, I do not know what I am, Indra. I have got my responsibility. I cannot leave this place. Just see, even the hog, yeah, you can just imagine what is the standard of his living. He thinks also that I am very happy. I am very happy. Uh, this tool eating and this nasty plate, and, uh, oh, I have got 
Very yeah. comfortable life. And this is the I mean this is Prakhavadiva. So hmm, the Sadhu Sattva, uh, the God Himself comes, He sends His confidential servant, He sends His Son uh, to reclaim us, and we should take advantage of opportunities and make our lives successful. That should be the aim of human life. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, no, there is time. Uh, <clears throat> Veda Shastra Kahe Sammandha Abhidhya Prayajan Krishna Prapa Sammandha Bhakti Prapir Sadha. Now, what is the subject matter of this Vedic scripture? That is summarily uh, summarized, summarized by Lord Chaitanya. Veda Shastra Kahe Sammandha Abhidhya Prayajan. There are three things in the Vedic scripture. What is that? The first thing is, yeah, what is my relationship with God? Or what is my relationship with this world? Or what is my relationship with this nature? This thing is this kind. Then, as soon as you understand your relationship, then your action begins according to, just like Two businessmen, so they want to do some business. They want to do mutually. They want to do some business, and what is the aim of business? To make some profit. Both of them are interested in making some profit. Without profit, there is no question of business. So first, if the profit is aim, then the two business first come to us and contract or agreement. This is called sammandha, relationship. Yes, you are supplier, I am purchaser. And you shall supply in this way, I shall purchase in this. The agreement. This is called relationship. And after the sign of the agreement, when actually uh, the activities begin, supply and uh, purchase, uh, that is called avidhya. Uh, and avidhya means that why they are uh, uh, doing this business? Some profit. So the profit that must be. Otherwise, nobody interest. The same thing is there also in the Vedas. First of all, we have to understand what is my relationship with God or this is this world or the nature. We must understand first this. And when we understand this, uh, this is my relationship, then my actual work will begin. That is Ovidya. And after uh, executing that uh, prescribed duty, the result is that I get uh, my relationship with the Supreme Lord or uh, Evivai. These three things are described in the Vedas. Uh, there is no other thing. So uh, uh, there are um, different kinds of knowledge in the Vedas. Veda is the past knowledge, uh, uh, even how we shall live in this material world. That is also described. Uh, even that uh, medicine, medicine, the science of medicine is also described in Veda. That is called Ayurveda. The science, the military science, also described there in the Veda. That is called Dhanur Veda, uh, Jajur Veda. So many Vedas there. Uh, and ultimately, uh, uh, the knowledge is there. How to understand the supreme absolute truth and how to get yourself liberated. Then these are the subject matter of Veda. So, in the Bhagavad Gita also, the Lord says, Veda is to Sadvai Ahameva Vedya. The ultimate purpose of Veda is to understand Krishna. Veda is to Sadvai Ahameva Vedya. So, Krishna or the Shadu and Sartha, uh, does not stop your material activities because we have to act materially. So long you have got this material body. Uh, so they give regulation how you should act so that ultimately you can reach to Krishna. So if we follow the regulation given in the Vedas, then automatically we reach to the high stage. 
Ah, perfection. Ah. That is the purpose of Veda. Ah. Therefore, you'll, you'll find uh, uh, different subject matter dealt uh, in Veda. And unless we have a bona fide teacher of the Vedas, it is very difficult to understand Vedic language and take advantage of it. Ah. Therefore, Lord um, Chaitanya says that uh, the subject matter of the Vedas we must understand. And what is the subject matter? That we must know our relationship with God or with our each other or with this nature and this world. Then what is our action, regulated action? Then the prayer, the ultimate goal of life is reached. Krishna prapa sammanila bhakti prapir sana. The ultimate end is to uh, reach Krishna or to get Krishna, uh, ultimate end. And that is confirmed in the Bhagavad Gita. Veda is to serve ahameva Veda. The ultimate purpose of the Veda is to reach Krishna. That's true. Uh, uh, so this is um, uh, the ultimate goal of life, and uh, Veda describes this, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is describing also, this will come to this point gradually. Thank you very much. Any question?